April. It's officially December, which means Christmas music 24 seven, but it also means we get to make Christmas cookies. Today I'm gonna show you three of my favorite Christmas cookie recipes. Snowball cookies, peanut butter blossoms, and chocolate covered peanut butter Ritz crackers sandwiches with sprinkles. Let's get started. First, our chocolate covered peanut butter sandwiches. The first thing you need to do is spread some creamy peanut butter onto a Ritz cracker and then add another cracker on top to make a sandwich. Next, you want to melt your chocolate chips in the microwave, stirring about every 30 seconds to make sure they don't burn. Then dip your peanut butter crackers into the melted chocolate and make sure you get a nice even coat. If your layer of chocolate is too thick, you can use a knife to smooth it out. Put the chocolate covered cookies onto a piece of wax paper so that when the chocolate hardens, the cookies will peel right off. While the chocolate is still melty, add your sprinkles and put them in the fridge to harden completely. Next are snowball cookies. To make the snowball cookies, cream together butter and sugar and then add your vanilla and beat until well mixed. Next, add the flour and chopped pecans and continue to mix. At this point, the dough is gonna look very dry and crumbly, but that's okay. Shape the dough into one inch balls and place them on an ungreased cookie sheet. These are gonna go in the oven for 16 to 18 minutes at 325 until they're lightly browned. Roll the cookies in powdered sugar while they're still warm from the oven and again roll them in powdered sugar when they're fully cool. And now for peanut butter blossoms. Combine your white sugar, brown sugar, butter, and peanut butter in a bowl. And mix that until it's light and fluffy. Then add your egg, salt, vanilla, Continue beating until that's well mixed. Then add your flour and baking soda. And again, beat until it's well mixed. Next, shape the dough into one inch balls and roll them in white sugar. Then place them onto an ungreased cookie sheet. And now we're gonna pop these in the oven at 375 for about eight to 10 minutes until they get nice and golden brown.
As soon as the cookies come out of the oven, press a chocolate star into the center of each cookie and let fully cool. Thanks for watching guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more recipes like this, make sure you subscribe and turn on that little bell so you get notified. Thanks for watching. Bye! Oh, good. They taste like home. Good. Perfect.